Namaste everybody. In this yoga session, we'll be playing with balance and strength using asanas. Flow with me and to the sound of the ocean waves in Goa. Let's begin. Come to stand at the front edge of your mat. Feel that connection of your feet with the ground. Feel that energy come into your body and leaving the body through the ground. Notice how your feet is reacting to the energies of the ground. Be with the sensations of your feet. Notice how your ankles are reacting to the energies. Take your awareness up your legs and observe the sensations. Observe the downward pull and that strong connection with the ground. Take your attention to your hips. Notice how it is wavering ever so slightly. Notice how your torso is aligning itself with the energies. Take your attention to your shoulders, your neck, your head and ground into that connection of your entire body with the ground. In today's flow, we will be practicing non-attachment, releasing any graspings to outcomes we desire. Let these graspings leave your body and just come into a space of allowing. As you practice these asanas in the session, let go of how it should look like and be present with how your body allows you to be in the pose. Be present with how each pose is and how you feel in that present moment. So no should be's, just be. Okay, let's begin. Now take your hands in front of your chest in Namaste Mudra. And just ground yourself further by chanting three ohms. Inhale. Om. Release your hands towards the sides of your body and let's begin the asanas. Take your left hand up towards the sky, extending it up, stretching your left side body and now tilting, it, tilting your torso and your hands towards the right side. Feeling that stretch making sure that your hip is not moving front or back, it's moving to the side. Feeling that left side body extending and stretching. Inhale and bring your body back to center. And as you drop your left hand down, Lift your right hand now up towards the sky. Stretch your right side body 
up into the sky. Inhale and as you exhale, tilt your torso over to the left side. Stretching your right side body. Your left hand sliding down slightly as you go deeper into the stretch. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and slowly come up to center. And now take your left hand up to meet the right hand at the top. Interlace your fingers and turn them out such that your palms are now facing the sky and stretch. Stretch your hands and stretch your torsos and if you can also come onto your toes and give the top of your foot a nice stretch. Elongate your body, trace that long line from the fingers all the way to the tip of your toes. Exhale, release and come down and bring your hands towards the side of your body. Right. Now we will warm up the body a little bit more by doing two rounds of Surya Namaskar. Sun salutations. Flow along with me. Inhale, take your hands along the sides all the way to the top, meeting them in Namaste, looking at your thumbs. As you exhale, forward fold, bend at the hips, bring your hands and torso downwards and let your hands reach down wherever it's comfortable, either your toes, your ankles or your shins, stretching the back of your legs. Now, bend your knees a little and place the palms of your hands on the ground. And now take your right leg back and drop the right knee onto the floor. Look straight. Now lift the back knee up and take your left leg back and meet the left foot with the right foot. Hips coming up, coming to mountain pose. Feet together. Now drop your knees. Drop your chest and chin on the ground. Hips are lifted up, not touching the floor. Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale and roll your body forward. Come to Bhujang Asan. Come onto the stomach on the ground and lift your head and chest up. Cobra pose. Point your toes backwards and look up. Inhale and as you exhale, tuck your back toes in. Lift your knees and hip up towards the sky and come to Parvatasan or mountain pose once again. The feet are together. Stretch the back of your legs and your back. If your heels are not touching the ground, it's totally fine. Be where it's comfortable. Now inhale and take your left foot in between your hands. Drop your right knee onto the floor. Look straight. Exhale. Bring the right foot front to meet the left foot. Forward fold. Drop your hands towards the ground. Drop your head towards the ground. Inhale and come all the way up. Lift your body up and take your hands up towards the sky. And exhale. Bring your hands towards the side of your body. Samastiti. Good. Let's do it one more time on the other side. Inhale. Take your hands up towards the sky. Meet at Namaste at the top. Look at your thumbs. Exhale. 
Exhale and forward fold. Bend at the hips and bring your hands down. Inhale and now uh, bend your knees a little. Place the palms onto, your, onto the ground. Take your left leg back. Drop the left knee onto the floor. And look straight. Exhale, lift your left knee up. Take your right foot back to meet the left foot. And hips come up for Parvatasan, mountain pose. Inhale, drop your knees onto the floor. Exhale, drop your chest and chin on the floor. Inhale, roll your body forward, point your toes back and come up for Bhujangasan. Look up. Exhale, tuck your back toes, lift your knees and hips up for mountain pose. Feet are together, legs straight, back straight. Now take your right foot to the front in between your hands, drop your left knee on the floor, look straight. Exhale, bring your left foot to meet your right foot in the front and forward fold. Inhale, take your hands all the way up at Namaste at the top. And exhale, bring your hands down for Samastiti. Good. Moving on to the next part. Inhale and as you exhale, forward fold. Drop your hands to where it's comfortable. Drop your head towards the ground and stay here for a few breaths. Now, you can bend your knees a little and drop your palms onto the floor. Take your right foot and place it far behind you at the back. Your right knee is lifted above, keeping your right leg straight. And the left knee is bent in the front at 90 degrees. Now, slightly tilt your weight towards the right side and lift your left hand to the top pointing it towards the sky and look at your left hand for a twist. Strong right leg. Keep it straight and strong. Exhale and drop your left hand back onto the floor. Now take your left leg at the back and come to downward facing dog. Keep a hit, hip, distance up, uh, hip distance between your feet. Stretch out your legs, stretch out your back. Now bring your right foot and place them in between your hands. Left leg is straight behind you on your back toes and now we'll do the twist on the opposite side. So tilt towards your um, left side, tilt your weight towards the left side and take your right hand up towards the sky for a twist on the right side and look at your right hand. Good. 
Now drop your right hand back onto the floor. Bring the left foot to the front to meet the right. And come to forward fold. Dropping a little bit more into the forward fold. Letting go with every exhale. Be present with wherever your forward fold is. All right. Now, again, bending your knees, place your palms on the floor. And again, take your right leg back. And now, shift your weight towards the left side and lift your right hand up towards the sky. Modified version of extended side angle. Look up at your right hand. Strong left leg, strong right leg. And now bring your right hand onto the floor. And now we will move our hips up and down. Keeping the legs and hands as it is. Okay, move your hip now towards the mat, bending the front knee a little further and lift your hips up away from the mat. And now we'll do that quickly five times. Five, up and down. Four, up and down. Three, up and down. Two, up and down. And one last time, up and down. Good. Now take your left leg back and come to downward facing dog, lifting your hips up towards the sky. Now bring your right foot in between your hands and come on to your back toes, keeping your back leg straight. Shift your weight towards the right side and lift your left hand towards the sky for extended side angle on the left side. Look at your left hand. Feel the sensations. Feel that burn in your legs. Now drop your left hand onto the ground and now we do the hip movements again move the hips towards the ground bending the knees lift it away from the ground stretching it out four more times four up and down three up and down two up and down and one last time up and down Good. Now bring your left foot to the front to meet your right foot and forward fold again. Letting go a little bit more than before. Inhale and exhale here. And very slowly, vertebra by vertebra, roll your body up. Coming up to a standing position. Samastiti. Alright. Now that we've generated warmth in the body, let's add on. We'll get into tree pose with the right foot. So shift your body weight to your left side. Lift your right foot and place it on the inside either of your left calf or you can also place it on your left inner thigh. Don't place it on the knee. Toes should be pointing downwards. Look straight and find a steady point to gaze at in front of you. Feel that balance. And now lift your hands to become parallel to the ground like Superman position. Stay here. Inhale and then take your hands to the top, meeting at Namaste. Namaste. 
feel that connection to the ground with your left foot. If you lose your balance, it's all right. Let it go. With a smile on your face, come back to the pose and try again. completely non-attached to how the pose should be. It is how it is right now. Good. Now release your hands to either side of your body. Release the right foot and bring the right knee up towards your chest. You can grab hold of your right knee with both your hands and draw it closer to your body. Draw the knee closer to your body. And balance here. Now stay here if you want. Or if you want to take it a little further, stretch out the right leg straight in front of you, toes pointing upwards. And you can also give your legs support with your hands by holding the right thigh from underneath and interlacing your hands underneath the right thigh. Stretch out your leg. Point your toes up. Very good. Now take it a little further if you want. Grab hold of your right toes with your left index middle finger and thumb like a hook and stretch out your left leg left hand and right leg in front of you feel that sturdiness and when you feel steady stretch out your right behind right hand behind you and gaze towards your right hand giving it a twist giving your body a twist see how your body feels here be present. This is more involved than it looks. You're engaging your concentration, your strength and your flexibility at the same time. All right, now look towards the front, release your hands, bend your right knee and point your right knee towards the ground and bring your right foot towards your glutes or your buttocks. You can, uh, you can grasp the right foot with your hands and stay here, feeling that stretch in the quads. All right, now from wherever you are, let's transition to a standing split pose. So release the hands from your foot, bending the left knee just a little, bring both your hands all the way to the ground like a forward fold. Now keep the right leg in the air and once your hand reaches the ground, straighten your right leg up towards the sky, forming a split with your legs. Now, if the ground is too far for your hands, place two yoga blocks underneath your hands and rest your hands on them. Or you can even bend your right knee a little bit. Breathe in and breathe out, feeling that stretch in your legs. Inhale and as you exhale, place your right foot on the ground behind you, say two feet behind your left foot and both your feet are now pointing forwards and we'll forward fold into pyramid pose. Hands are as it is and bring your head towards your left leg. You'll feel Quite a bit of sensations at the back of your left leg. Breathe into 
to those sensations and when you're ready now bend the left knee just a little bit place your palms onto the floor and engage your uh, engage your uh, arms and hop both the feet back to downward facing dog or you can also walk your feet back to downward facing dog feet are hip distance apart good enjoy the stretch i love the feels of downward facing dog breathe here next lift your right leg up towards the sky for three legged dog balance on both your hands and your left leg and now we transition to wild thing or chamatkar asana so slowly tilt your weight towards your left side and drop your right leg towards the left side and try to reach and drop your right foot all the way to the ground and as you do so your right hand comes up and lift your chest up towards the sky now reach reach your right hand all the way forming a rainbow with your hand towards the ground aiming to reach the ground opening up your heart and a loving space for your body to be exactly where you are right now enjoy the stretch enjoy this opening inhale and now slowly turn your body towards the mat and transition dropping your right hand onto the mat and slowly lifting your right leg up and bending the right knee and bringing the right knee close to the chest holding your core tight to a modified three legged dog with the right knee strongly being pulled towards the body and now we'll transition to fall in triangle take your right foot and straighten out your right leg and take your right foot through the gap between your left hand and leg and place the right foot on the ground straightening out your right leg ground yourself here and when you feel steady lift your left hand towards the sky for a fall in triangle breathe in and breathe out strong legs and strong arm good and now we transition back to downward dog so drop your left hand onto the floor bring your right foot back to downward facing dog very good and stay here for a few breaths and now hop or walk your feet between your palms forward fold there inhale and slowly roll your body up and come to stand in samastiti very good now take a few seconds here to relax and now let's do this flow that we just did on the opposite side so starting with your tree pose with the left foot 
bring your left foot and place it on the inside of your right thigh or your shin. Get steady and look at a point in front of you. Inhale and take your hands towards the side parallel to the ground. Exhale here. And then take your hands towards the sky. Meet them at Namaste at the top. Balance. Smile on your face. Feel that strong line from the tip of your fingers all the way down to your foot. The earth supporting you. Release your hands towards the side of your body, bringing it down and then bring your left knee towards your chest. Grab hold of the knee with your hands. Stay here. Now stretch out your left leg in front of you straight and you can support the uh, left leg with your hands from underneath. Find that solid balance. If you want to take it further, grab hold of your toes with your right hand and stretch out your left leg and your right hand straight as much as possible. When you feel sturdy, take your left hand and point it straight but behind you. Looking towards your left side, looking towards your left hand, giving yourself a nice twist. Now look forward, release your hands, bend the left knee, point it towards the ground and bring the left foot towards your left glute. Grab hold of your left foot with your hands and at any point if you lose balance, it's totally fine, try again. Now, from wherever you are, transition to standing split. So release your hands and take them down like a forward hold and place them either on either side of your right foot. You can bend the left leg if required. Sorry, you can bend the right leg if required and extend the left leg straight towards the sky. Extend the legs up and up and up. Now transition to pyramid pose. So you can bend your right knee a little and place the palms on the ground. Drop your left foot slowly behind you two feet behind your right foot. Straighten out the legs and forward fold here. Take the stretch just a little bit outside your comfort zone. Smiling, enjoying the stretch. Good. Now from here, hop back or walk back to downward facing dog. Straighten out your left leg towards the sky 
for three legged dog stretch it out up and up nice straight legs with each breath try to reach a little higher than before now wild thing tilt your weight towards the right side drop your left foot on the ground on the right side lifting the left hand above lifting your chest towards the sky and you can take it a little further by forming a rainbow with your left hand trying to reach the left hand towards the ground behind you enjoying that opening in your chest in your hearts now let's transition back to the mat drop your left hand on the mat lift your left leg and bend the left knee and bring this left knee towards the chest core is tight legs are strong now let's go to fall in triangle tilt the weight towards your left side body bring your left feet through the gap of your right hand and leg and place the left foot on the ground straighten both the legs feel that solid triangle grounding and now lift your right hand towards the sky lots of sweat is being generated in me right now <laughs> i'm in goa hot humid and yet very beautiful <laughs> now we transition back to downward facing dog with your with both your hands firmly planted on the ground hop your feet or walk forward in between your hands and forward fold and slowly rise up to samasthiti <sighs> very good Now let's go to the next part. Okay? So take your feet hip distance apart. And squat down bending your knees to malasana. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Namaste mudra. And arms on the inside of your knees. Breathe. Breathe in and let it all out. Relax your face here. Relax your forehead. Now release your hands and place them behind you on the mat, and drop your hips onto the mat. So basically you're sitting with your knees bent. And now let's come to navasana or boat pose. So hold your core tight. Release your hands from the mat and straighten out the legs 45 degrees to the ground. Forming a 90 degrees with your torso and your legs. And straighten out the hands on either side of your legs. core is tight stay here as long as you can
try for five more breaths if possible. Now drop your feet onto the mat, knees are bent. Place your hands on the mat behind you, say around one feet behind your seat, fingertips pointing forward. And now we'll get into reverse tabletop. F from this position, lift your hips up towards the sky, looking up. Core is tight, glutes are tight, legs and arms strong. Keep your hips up. Good. Exhale and slowly drop your hips onto the floor. Now keep your hands and legs as it is. Let's take it a little deeper. Lift your left foot and place it on the right thigh, not on your knees. Forming a figure four with your legs. Good. Now, again, let's do reverse tabletop with figure four. Lift your hips up towards the sky. Hips are lifted. Continue to breathe here. Drop your hips back onto the floor. Release your left foot onto the floor. And now we'll do this with the right foot. Right foot comes on top of your left thigh, figure four. Lift the hips up with a little more strength and little more energy. Come on, hips up. Slowly drop your hips towards the mat. Release your right foot onto the ground. Now we'll do one final variation of reverse tabletop mixed with a little flavor of wild thing. Okay? Turn your left hand towards the back. So your fingertips are pointing opposite direction of your toes. Left fingertips. Move your weight towards the left side of the body and lift your hips up and now straighten your right hand up towards the sky balance here and if you're steady and you feel like it you can arch your arms or arch your right arm stretching it out further and aiming to reach the right hand towards the ground Beautiful. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, release everything and drop your hips onto the floor. Take a couple of seconds here. And now we'll do the same thing on the right side. So turn your right hand towards Turn your right hand so that it's facing the back of your mat. Weight is slowly leaning on the right side. Release your weight from the left hand. Lift your hips up. And now lift your hands up towards the sky. And again, if you feel like it, you can arch your hand, arch it back in the direction of the ground from behind you. Keep your hips lifted. Strong legs, strong core. Inhale and as you exhale, slowly drop your hips onto the floor and your left hand back on the floor behind you. Here we'll windmill the knees, drop the knees onto the left and drop both the knees onto the right. To the left, 
center, right, then center and left, and center and right. Good. Come back to center. Straighten the legs out and sit in Dandasana. Now it's time to cool down the body. Okay. Bend the right knee and place the right foot on the outside of your left knee. Place your left elbow on the outside of your right knee and your right hand behind you, behind your seat. Fingertips pointing away and look back towards your right side for a lovely twist. I love such twists. It stimulates the internal organs, giving them a gentle massage as you send attention towards it. Good. Now look towards the front, release the left hand, keep the right leg as it is, bend the left leg at the knee and bring the left heel towards the right hip. Drop the right knee on top of the left knee. Gomukhasana legs. You can stay here or you can walk your hands forward, drop your elbows onto the ground and forward fold towards the ground. Drop your forehead downwards and we'll relax here. Inhale and slowly come up. Straighten out both the legs in front of you and shake them out. Opposite side now. Bend your left leg and place the left foot on the outside of your right knee. Right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Left hand placed behind you and look back towards your left side. Twisting. Relax your shoulders, smile on your face, you're doing a brilliant job. Release the right hand, bend the right leg, look towards the front, bend the right leg at the knee and bring it towards the outside of your left hip. Now the left knee stacks on top of the right knee as much as you can and stay here. Or you can take it a little deeper and forward fold, dropping your forehead towards the ground. Hmm. Now slowly come back and sit up and straighten your legs in front of you. Now come onto your back and before we rest in Shavasana, we will do one final pose, happy baby. Bend the knees and grab hold of your feet with both your hands. So right foot with the right hand and left foot with the left hand. Take the feet slightly apart from each other and gently sway from left to right, left to right, feeling that inner joy of a baby swaying about without a worry in the world.
and then release your hands, straighten out your legs and come to Shavasana with hands on either side of your body. I feel like taking my hands above me and resting it for this practice. So I'm going to do that. If you feel like modifying your Shavasana for a better rest, feel free. Your body is your playground. Completely relax here. Hmm. When you feel ready, very gently come to sit in a seated position. Keep your eyes closed. Breathe in and breathe out. Appreciate yourself and appreciate the space you've created for yourself in a space of non resistance and no attachments. And now we'll conclude this session with one Om and three Shantis. Thank you very much for practicing today. Have a brilliant day ahead. Namaste.